Hey, good morning and welcome to my channel. Well, in this episode, we're going to take a look at the Sector 150 HD. Now, you might remember I did a review on the Sector 132. You can see some video footage of me flying it around. The Sector 132 had two cameras in the front and you put a micro SD card in the side so you could record a 1080p video. So the Sector 150, same, same, same idea, except there's not two cameras in the front and you can't put a micro SD card in the side, but it's the same frame, just enhanced, bigger. And it's got the same prop guards that you can take off and fly with or without. I'm going to leave mine on because just in case I bang into anything, it's, it's pretty safe then. The difference is to get the same sort of video, since this one is bigger and it is digital, the digital video goes into your goggles and you record it at 720p, 60 frames per second. And the goggles you have to use are the DJI goggles, which are pretty expensive. That's because it's a digital camera. But at the same time, I think mine, yes, mine I can use the uh, DJI FPV radio so I can get a super long range as well, like four kilometer range on this thing, which is kind of insane. Since it's larger, you can put a camera up top so you could stick a Insta360, a GoPro Hero if you want. Well, for me, I thought I'd try something different today. I put something a little lighter. I put a little session. Do you remember the <laughs> GoPro session? So I have an old, old, old GoPro session. It doesn't take great video compared to the modern cameras, but eh, I thought I'd use it anyways. I'll you the video from this camera as well as the camera in here because you're not going to get props in the frame see how it's designed no props in the frame now this is a 6s version it comes in a 4s and a 6s this one's a 6s version but you can see it's not a lot of space here to put a 6s and i honestly do not have small 6s batteries if i had like an 850 milliamp hour 6s battery it'd be pretty decent for a quad like this but i don't all i have is these little things like a 300 and a 450 milliamp hour battery which is kind of small and it means I'm not going to get a lot of flight time. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to fly it and show you how it flies, you know, with a GoPro hat on or whatever sort of hat I put on, and then I'll take it for a real spin. Here we go. So you can see my battery is here. Let me grab a GoPro here. So you can see the battery looking at with the GoPro. It doesn't take up a lot of space on the back of this here quad. I can obviously put a much larger 6S battery, but that's all I've got. First things first, let's turn on our DJI radio, FPV radio here, and we're all set to go. Next, connect the battery, and that's all set to go. So there we go, I've got a little arm switch over here. If I flick this switch, the props will spin, and we're all set to go. So I'm gonna put it in angle mode, and I'm going to fly it. Here we go. Spin the props, bring it up. That's what you get. There's a little 6S battery. It's not going to last very long, but uh, there's my little 150 floating around. And oh, there goes the seagulls. <laughs> All right, I don't want to kill a lot of the batteries, so I am going to uh, bring it down and uh, land it over here back on my little landing pad. So now what I'm going to do is take my FPV DJI goggles, put them on and uh, fly this around here and show you the video. All right, as always, when I come out in the morning, there's nobody around, so I have the whole field to myself. Here we go. Great thing is, is I can fit these goggles over my glasses. All right, so I've got it in acro mode. I'm going to arm it and uh, here we go. And go under them like down here. No problem. So this is a good drone for doing like photography of areas where you just want to fly around things in a nice slow fashion and get a lot of image. If you want to go up and higher, and here I'll take it up. There we are, I'll get out of the sun. And I'll fly over this way. There we go, we can do little flips. Going over the water, hey, it looks nice over here. Fly nice and slow, come down to the water. Don't want to go too low behind, but uh, yeah, that's what you can do. Pretty darn sweet. Come back. Let's go over here, go through this, go through this. Can you go through the football gates at the last second? Well, of course you can, because I can slow down. Can I go through these little two pillars over here? Well, of course I can, because I can slow down. You can fly through almost anything with this because it's just such a tiny, tiny, tiny little drone. What about over here? Can I go through this? Well, of course I can. Easily. Just have to be careful I don't hit anybody. <laughs> Bring it over to me and I'll fly it around the truck. I'll let you see the drone flying. There we go. The GoPro should have picked it up. No tree going this way, under leaves this way, zigzagging this way. There I am zigzagging this way. Zigzag this way, zigzag sign. <laughs> I'm paying attention to the trees. Whoa, and the leaves. All right, 
I don't think I can get it back. I don't have enough power off, but just, oh, I flipped it. I didn't have any power to get back, that was it. So here, let me just take the arm off. If you're gonna get this quad, I would highly recommend that you get yourself an 850 milliamp hour 6S LiPo battery. I had a 400 milliamp hour LiPo battery, and I even brought a 300. Both of them, no, not a lot of, not a lot of flight time. I do have 6S batteries that are like 1300 milliamp hours, but I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna go grab the drone and I'll show you that that would just be insanity putting one of those on due to the weight and the size. This thing here, the motors would just get really hot. So here's my drone, I flipped it upside down. There we go, yeah, everything's all messed up and all wet. I'm just gonna turn off my GoPro here. All right, Steve from the future here. I've been flying this drone for a while now and uh, the video review that you were watching was made a while ago. And I'm still flying this drone and I ordered some better batteries that were larger in size and milliamp hours so that I could get a longer flight time. So this was the battery I was using before. You can see it's very thin, not very big. It's a six cell. And this is the one I just received. It's massive. It's a 1000 milliamp hour battery. Look at, look at the size of it compared to this one. So this drone, I thought, you know, if I put this 1000 milliamp hour battery on here, it's a lot of weight because that's a big battery. So plunk, it fits though. So what I did is I took off the GoPro Hero Session and I replaced it with an InstaGo 360. Same idea, it's gonna shoot this video and it'll probably be a lot smoother because this camera is a lot more advanced than the GoPro session. You know, that's, that's an old camera. I shouldn't have never used that in the first place. All right, so I'm gonna fly this right now with this huge battery in the Insta360. It's really windy out. This, this is why this GoPro is bouncing up and down because the wind's knocking it. But uh, I'm gonna go fly this right now with this huge battery and the wind should not affect it too much because this battery is heavy and it should hold it heavy in the wind. So let's go check it out. All right, here we go. Let's see how well this flies and records. Okay, I feel the weight of the battery in the wind here, but it should get pretty smooth. I'm gonna keep it nice and low. Coming over to the shed. And there I am down there over my car. You can see it flies very fast, even with this 1000 milliamp hour battery, which weighs a ton, not an issue here. Going past. All right. Let's go this way. Everything looks good. Just take it over here. Going over the water. You wouldn't want it to crap out on the water because then it would be gone. Gone forever. Sunk to the bottom. Go down here. Nice and smooth through there. It's a very smooth drone. Easy to fly. Look at this, I'm just flying so low behind everything. Let's go this way. Go over here between these here, little trees. I'm gonna have to walk over here if I crash it. And all the way back in the football field. And I'll bring it back to me. I'm over this way. Nice, go through that. Let's go over here. No problems with reception with this drone. I'm really low to the ground behind trees and all sorts of obstacles. No issues whatsoever. The 1000 milliamp hour battery is probably prime for this with the Insta360 Go. It uh, is the, probably the perfect weight, weight ratio for this thing. There's my truck there, so I'm gonna go to the side of it. And I'll miss me, there I am right there. Whiz by me. Pretty sweet, eh? <laughs> All right. Okay, so let's uh, let's see how much power this 1000 has to take it up. Oh yeah, the other battery could not do that. It would die. Look at this. Way up in the sky. This is great. Fly over the school here and bring it on back. This is an awesome drone. I'm glad I've been flying this all week, having a blast with it. Let's just go through the little spot here. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> see, that's why you need this battery. I had to like uh, give it a little bit of gas there just because I was going the wrong direction just at the last second. It's pretty decent. You can get through tight areas with this. Oh, this one looks tight. Go over that. All right, let's bring it back to me. This is really good. This is weird, it's windy out. It's windy out right now and check out this fan. It's not moving at all. It's just sitting there. Let's see if I can go fly through the blades of this fan right here at the lower part. There we go, nice. Okay, let's bring it over to me, which is right over here. You can go really slow with this like I'm doing now. I'm behind the fence. I'm gonna come over it and come and land over here. And then I'll kill it right about here. And I flipped it upside down. 
All right, this is a million times better with this configuration. So get yourself a 1000 milliamp hour battery. This is a 100C. It's a 6S battery, 6 cell. That's an Insta360 Go on this little 150 quad. It is prime. This is exactly what you need. This is really good. All right, guys, the end of this video was recorded a long time ago. So you're going to watch the end right now where I give you my final conclusions on this before. And now you've seen me fly this with the perfect configuration. So anyways, here's the end of the video. All right. So what did I learn from this review? Well, I learned that I have to buy myself some 850 milliamp hour 6S LiPo batteries. So I'm obviously going to go order some of those batteries because I want to enjoy this quad. It is really decent. It was perfect for flying around objects. I like it a lot. Uh, the GoPro session, I don't know. You tell me how the video turned out. I haven't used a session in so long. You can't even really buy them anymore. So you tell me how that video turned out. Also, I could put a Hero 7 on it, but I didn't want to put a bigger camera when I had such a tiny battery. It would just suck out more power faster. All right, so coming up next is an unboxing where I tell you all the specs of this drone and show you everything that comes in the box. I think you're going to love it. And uh, after that, it's basically bye-bye from me. So right now I'm going to say, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Links to the digital version of this are below this one that I'm flying right here, as well as the batteries. And I'll also put links to the analog version, which will cost you a way less money and do the same thing. So for now, I say thanks for watching this review. And uh, you'll probably see me flying this again in future videos, doing some pretty cool stuff with uh, airplanes and other things and going around and under things. But for now, I say thanks for watching this video and we'll catch you in the next one. Stay tuned for the unboxing. Bye. And now a super quick unboxing of the Sector 156S version. Inside the box, well, you get this drone right here and this is it. I've already got a GoPro session on mine. It is a sweet, sweet quad. So what's so great about it, you ask? Well, do you remember in the olden days, well, not too long ago, I reviewed this here, the Sector 132. This here has two cameras in the front. One records to a micro SD card to record your 1080p video, and the other is for the pilot to see where you're going. What's really cool about these, this is the newest model, the 150, this is the 132. What's really cool is you can take off the prop guards. And on this one, you can install larger props. And on this one, I believe you can as well. I haven't tried it, but I did try it on this one and it worked great. Haven't tried it on this one. So overall, you can see the 132 is much smaller than the 150. And the 132 means 132 millimeters from motor to motor going this way and this means 150 millimeters from this motor down to this motor over here so that's how they get the names this model was a 4s version and this new model is a 6s version by 6s i mean you put a 6s battery on it which gives it a lot of power which is why it can lift a gopro plus the battery plus this entire frame no problem and it has a 35 amp esc and the flight controller on this is an f4 zeus 35 flight controller the props on this i think i already mentioned it the three inch props and the prop guards you can take them off well you know it's digital so i've reviewed so many of these drones with the cadex digital system it's not much more i can tell you you've got a digital camera in the front which is really decent from the cadex vista and you have the little brains down here now i put a gopro session on mine because they include this mount right here they include a different mount as well for different cameras let me show you what comes in the box you get a full spare set of props you get a different mount here for a camera so you can just sit the camera on top and put a strap around it to hold it in place you also get bumpers you get four bumpers here that go right here on the arms so if you take these prop guards off which are protecting your arms then you just put the bumpers on and they fit right here to protect your arms you get a second battery strap i've already put one on the quad itself and you get some documentation and some stickers and as always you get a pile of spare screws just in case you take things apart lose the screws for your motors or the actual frame no problem all right so i've got the gopro session on and i've got the prop guards on i've got the strap on everything's on i'm gonna weigh it like this because this is realistic this is the weight you're gonna get when you fly it so let's see so in my review i flew it 325 grams i'll add the typical 450 milliamp hour 6s battery that they want you to add and i'll put that on and we're at 409 grams total. And if you want to know how much everything weighs without the GoPro Hero Session and the battery, it's too easy. I just have a GoPro Hero Session right here. So I'll plunk it down. Session is 75 grams. And the battery right here is 82, 83 grams. And then add a few extra grams for this little mount and this little strap. And there you go. That's your total. And 
And this brings me to the end of my review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have questions on this drone, post them below and I'll get back to you. If you'd like to buy this drone, the links are below to the HGLRC website, exactly where you can find it. And if they still sell the old 132, Sector 132 with the two cameras in the front, which I think is pretty cool, and the recording system where you put a micro SD card, if they still sell this one, I will put links to this below as well. And more importantly, if you enjoyed this review and you found it very satisfying and refreshing, well then please give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that very much. But for now, I'm going to say bye. I hope you enjoyed it. Many more drone reviews coming in the future, so stay tuned to this channel. Bye.